Lions minicamp took place over this past weekend. A lot of observations were talked about, and this is on Fan Nation All Lions that I was looking at their observation. I read a ton of others because, unfortunately, I can't be there for a minicamp. I'll be there for training camp, but you know, minicamp is something that I can't personally be there for. So we're going to go over their observations and what it means. And there's some good ones. And there's some good ones. So we'll get into that before we get into today's video. If you're a fan of the Detroit Lions and you like a fan perspective like myself, former player and Herman Moore, you need to subscribe to this channel. Why is that? Because that's all we do on here is talk Detroit Lions, give it different perspectives for myself, from him, and other content creators like Royal Lions UK, Everything King, Dosa Dion. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so we're going over the rookie minicamp observations here done by All Lines Fan Nation. And this is on ESPN2. There's other articles there. Pride of Detroit's got a lot of articles there that the, the, for the beat writers that were available and for them to observe the Lions rookies as we got. And there's one I really am happy about hearing, and that's Sam Laporta here. But there's a couple tryouts there for a bunch of players. Not really big into that. I don't really want to go into that but Jameer Gibbs did not practice and it was primarily just an injury for precautionary reasons and I think that's very much something that we got to pay attention to precautionary because obviously the injuries to De uh, DeAndre Swift when he was here was something of an, a mass issue as the Lions running back you go job at best I mean a lot of running backs that we've had had issues with injury and so when you see that Jameer Gibbs did not practice I'm sure some people were concerned. I'm going to tell you not to be concerned. Why is that? This is a rookie minicamp. So, again, precautionary for a guy who's the 12th pick in the draft. No big deal, in my opinion. Small tweak. Nothing out there. Um, Brian Branch didn't participate as well in drills, and it's fine. Again, this is precautionary. It's something. This is not NFL training camp. It's not Lions training camp. It's not preseason. It's not you know, practice before the game. This is just a mini camp that's happening right now, May 15, time before May 15, a couple days before. So just FYI, you're going to see that too. It's going to happen in training camp. It happens all the time. They do precautionary, whether it be veterans or rookies themselves. They'll, you know, they, they want their body to be as close as they can get to healthy week one as are all the, you know, the issues that they deal with throughout the regular season and their body starts to kind of repair in the offseason. Same thing with college players that were coming rookies. Uh, Muhammad Imbram, only running back participant, and he was doing a lot of reps, pretty much everything. He's showing his physicality as well as his ability to have soft hands in the running game. He is a physical runner, like it says here. He's a guy that... I think we'll make this 53-man roster. He is an undrafted rookie, and you know, they're giving him some garbage like here. Uh, Scotty Montgomery was, you know, not doing this or over his head at that. At the end of the day, this guy is a running back, and I think he is better than Jamar Jefferson, and I do think he makes the football team. He's shown his physicality. He's shown his ability to take all the reps. That's something that you need, somebody that you rely on. Yeah, he's going to be having some issues. He's an undrafted rookie. It's what you expect. There's going to be some growing pains. But I think ultimately he makes the 53-man roster, and it's because what he can do on the field, and you've seen it already in minicamp, that the guy will – Constantly grind, have that grind mentality in him. Hennon Hooker did not practice, obviously, due to injury, but his energy was infectious despite sitting out. Um, also, there's not just this article, but other cars talk about how well he is as a a leader, leader of men, he demonstrated poise, and he did exactly what you want your quarterback to be, is a leader of men, kind of above the fray a little bit. And he showed the reason from the way he spoke and his attitude, why we took this man in round three to be a backup quarterback. He is all about, you know, being that captain eventually for a ship. He's all about being that leader for a team. And in the quarterback position, that's what you need. When you look at a player like Kyler Murray, do you think that 
this man has talent. Yeah, he absolutely has talent. But it from what we hear, you know, he's a he's not much of a leader. There's not a lot of people really inspired by him. And that's the reason they have issues over there. I think with Hennon Hooker, you do not have to worry about that. He is kind of like Jared Goff in a sense that he's going to be that pro's pro. He's going to say and do the right things. You're not going to hear drama from him. And they got that poise, that that boring veteran leadership. And when I say boring, I don't mean in a bad way. I actually mean it in a really good way because you don't want your quarterback going out there and making a bunch of noise like a Baker Mayfield did or anything like that. You want the guy to really be focused on their job and their teammates. Hennon Hookers did that, showed in minicamp, but is anyone expect anything different? Absolutely not. That's how he was over there for Tennessee. That's how he was senior bowl. That's how he was in interviews. This is his whole career. He's just that type of individual. Let me know in the comment section, are you worried about Hennon Hooker as a Detroit Lion? Do you think he's going to be a good player for us? Do you think he's going to be a wash in a couple years. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I think you'll be a good player. Do. Linebacker Jack Campbell, day one ready. I love seeing this. Again, expected. Jack Campbell, to me, is just a phenomenal linebacker. He's a day one starter. His intensity, his ability to cover, his ability to go after the running back, stop the run, his size, shed block. Everything about this man, you've seen it here in camp. Now, he did get burned by Laporta one time. But, again, when you get a tight end that high, you expect them to do some burns here. Absolutely, fundamentally good when it comes to Jack Campbell and what he brings to our beloved Detroit Lions. A lot of people didn't like him at 18. I didn't care. I love Jack Campbell. I think this man could be a a 12-year starter, 13-year starter here for the Detroit Lions, and you can rely upon him. You can rely upon his skills defensively, his ability to, when he you know becomes more involved in this defense and understand the scheme and he can start to call things out. I think he's going to be a damn good player for the Lions defensively. Great pick, great start to so far to his NFL career. Sam Laporta shines over linebacker Jack Campbell. That's what I heard all through all the articles is Sam Laporta was absolutely dominant in minicamp, getting open. Always open, great route running, using his his twitch ability, beating Jack Campbell in this instance here. Reliable. Uh, it says that he's route running is is reminiscent of TJ Hawkinson without the difficulties of remaining upright following receptions. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of this, not the player, but the position. But if he can come out and be an absolute dominant tight end for the Detroit Lions, and so far in minicamp. He has shown that he is a man amongst boys. Oh, this will be great for our football team. Absolutely great. Regardless of his position, if he can come out and be better than TJ Hawkinson was and really help Brock Wright as well as James Mitchell and the rest of the offensive weapons to get open, first down on third down, first down on third down, that you, you, know, you just go ahead and throw it to Laporta for a five-yard pass. Get that first down. Have have somebody right there wreaking havoc, and if they double him because he comes really good, guess what? You got Jamison Williams. You got Amon Ra, James Mitchell, Brock Wright. You know, you got everybody at the disposal for Jared Goff to pass it up to, whether it be Jameer Gibbs and any other weapon on this offense. So it's it just opens everything up, and this is very good. This is the one player I want to see have a magnificent camp because I want it is high on him. I know that we you can you can use all the help on offense and I'd like to see, you know, we invest the 34th pick on a tight end. I want this guy to be a dominant player and so far so good. Absolutely good. Competitive jukes and speed. Yep, I was hearing all of that. Very very good. Again, when it comes to you know other stuff about the mini camp that was it was not on here. A lot of injuries, again, that we're talking about. Don't be concerned about that. Soresdale was really good at guard. He played right guard the whole time. That's the fifth-round offensive lineman we picked, so that's damn good because, look, we need that position is probably the most or the questionable decision so far on this offense is the right guard. You know, Halapluti Vati Vaitai, is he going to be ready? Is... You know, Graham Glasgow able to hold it down 
And so they're putting Soresdale right guard, practicing him there. Perfect. Perfect. You know, I'm not worried about Panay Sewell. I'm not worried about Taylor Decker, Jonah Jackson, and Frank Ragnow. Those guys I'm very confident in. That will be perfectly fine for our Detroit Lions. So see him doing well is very good for us as Detroit Lions fans. So really, there's no, they're not much losers when it comes to minicamp uh, at all. Is generally good stuff, and these guys are slowly getting to know the scheme and the coaches and everything over there. You know, you're not going to have... These guys are... Generally, there's a lot of undrafted guys in there, but, you know, obviously you want to talk about our our draft picks. Oh, yeah, Antonio uh, Antonio Green, he did really well as well. Played on the outside in the slot as wide receiver. So he he did well, and he's going to be an interesting to watch in training camp. Because that battle for wide receiver, whether it be five and six, is going to be fun for sure. And I think uh, Tone, he he makes the team. But can he jump some other players? You know, that that will be interesting because he does bring a different element on the outside. And, you know, from what we're seeing so far in minicamp, he's all over on the wide receiver position. And I think that's really good. And, you know, see what he can do, do best for our football team. So a lot of fun stuff that's taking place right now in mini camp and soon they'll have mini camp for the veterans and the rookies and we get to look at everybody else, see what how Tracy Walker is doing, see, you know, Romeo Aquara and all these guys. So it's gonna be really good. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, because you know, that, that, that's how we drop the content on here. It does help out so you don't miss out on Lions news and rumors and live streams on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. That's the way for sure that you don't miss out on that content. With that said, folks, adios.